uh, chess lovers Soren here and in this video I want to share with you a fantastic attacking game played by legendary Russian chess player Mikhail Chigorin. Chigorin is on the black side and his opponent is a chess player named Arnold. The game was played in 1885 in St. Petersburg during a blindfold chess simul which Chigorin played on 10 boards. What is interesting this game Arnold also played blindfold and uh, without further ado let's go for our game and see what happened in the minds of these two chess players. Arnold opened up with e4 and Chigorin responded with e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, we have the Italian game and Chigorin responded with two knights defense, knight f6. Black is inviting white to come after this f7 pawn and we have it, knight g5 jump is on the board against which we have the main defensive move d5. He takes d5, knight a5, bishop b5, check c6. This is a line which still up to these days is the main line, bishop e2, h6, knight f3, e4, knight e5, queen c7 and f4. Well, not the best continuation. According to modern theory, d4 is considered to be the main move. What is interesting, this is a move which was played in 1866 by Adolf Andersen in a game against Gustav Neumann and still up to these days this is considered to be a very accurate line. If he takes d3 then knight takes d3 but in our game we have f4 and the problem with this f4 move is that by playing bishop c5 Blake could actually create some problems for white when trying to castle kingside but in our game we have bishop d6, d4, in here we have castling by both sides and c5, c3, rook b8, knight a3, c takes d4 and a mistake by Arnold, knight b5. Instead of playing knight b5 it was better simply to capture on d4 but in our game we have knight b5 and the idea is that now if you move away your queen then white will recapture on d4 with the knight but instead of moving away the queen Chigorin went for an exchange sacrifice and captured on b5 bishop takes b5 was played queen b6 a4 and this time we have d3 discovered check by going for an exchange sacrifice Chigorin managed to gain two powerful passed pawns on e and d files this is a powerful force and White is going to pay a very high price for that mistake, for that knight b5 move. I have to tell you that despite the fact that Chigorin is playing blindfold, he's making really very accurate moves. Okay, king h1 was played, a6, knight c4, a move after which White's position collapses. In here it was better to go for bishop takes d3, get rid of these passed pawns and then play b4. This is a line which could have allowed White to gain some counterplay and prolong his resistance but in our game we have knight c4 and after the exchange of knights on c4 Chigorin played bishop g4 and White is in trouble. a5, queen a7, Chigorin is still keeping his queen on this diagonal, now you will see the idea, queen a4 and this time we have bishop e2. The bishop is also penetrating white's camp and all this looks very scary. Knight g4 and already black is threatening a smothered mate. h3, white is opening up a loop for his king, is attacking the knight but now comes queen f2. You can't even touch the knight because you can get checkmate hit on the spot. That's why after queen f2, white played bishop d2, protected his rook, but even this can't help white. Here comes bishop c5, not the strongest continuation though, this is also winning. Bishop f3 is actually winning on the spot. If g takes f3, then queen h2 checkmate, and if rook g1, then queen g3. With a mate to combat, in our game we have bishop c5. With this move, Black actually created a very nasty threat and understanding that there is no defense White decided to go for bishop takes f7 move prolong his resistance but there is no way out you know here's Chigorin played king h7 another beautiful move of course he could also cover his king but he goes for the second rook sacrifice White accepted that sacrifice as well and as we have reached the critical position please pause the video and try to find mate in 3. Ready? 
In here, Chigori first sacrificed his queen on g2 square, after which switched his light squared bishop into the attack. Bishop f3 check is on the board, and after king f1, he announced that checkmate. Look at this brilliant checkmate, guys. Three black minor pieces are killing the enemy king. What a brilliant final combination. Once again, let's not forget that this was played during a blindfold simul and Chigorin really played a very high level chess. What a talent. In the end, as usual, a chess puzzle for you. Please take a look at this position and try to find the winning line for black. It's black to move and try to find that defensive winning line which allows black to save the position. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you, feel free to check them out as well, I will see you in my next video, take care.